guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. If you watched my Vlogmas video from yesterday, you know that we're picking right up where we left off from there. So if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, click the link and check it out because it's gonna preface what's going on in this one. So per yesterday, you guys know that I am in my garage doing a little DIY painting. I pulled a bunch of items off of my display cases in my family room because frankly, I'm over them. I don't really care for them anymore, but instead of throwing everything away and starting over, I'm going to attempt to repurpose them, make them into something else. So I'm in the garage right now doing a little paint project. I was thinking I would take the items, prime them, paint them white so that they look like um, a nice white stone color. And uh, when I finished doing that, <laughs> I don't think I love it, right? I don't think I love it, but right now I'm in the process of like trying to see what I can see before I completely forego the project because as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, if I don't like it, um, I didn't pay for any of these items. I ended up getting them for free because of an inconvenience. I definitely feel like I got good use out of the items, but you know, sometimes with display cases and stuff, you wanna switch those items out every now and then. Like you might change your style, you might be going in a different direction. So I don't feel bad. But yeah, if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna to toss them and then just buy new stuff because either way they need to be replaced because I'm over the items that were on there. So yeah, so right now I'm just um, using a little stone texture finish type of product to go ahead and apply to those little heads that I had just to see if that would make them look um, better um because painting it a flat matte white kind of flattens um the object and i think i knew that that would be the case so i'm just trying some different techniques to see if i can like bring the texture and the 3d back to it if not no big deal but everything else seemed to be turning out okay so in this video you guys are going to see the finished results of everything and I'll do like a before and after side by side so y'all see kind of like where we came from and where we are today and I'll we'll, together we'll make a decision whether or not we like this so I'll have my opinion and you guys will have yours but we're gonna find it out today <laughs> okay after I was done painting the heads I went ahead and added some stone texture it's basically this rust-oleum product here and as you can see it kind of makes a big difference on the finish Gives it something more dynamic, gives it texture obviously, but also accentuates the texture that is already there in the actual sculpture. So that's what I'm doing, just to make it a little more interesting. And then, of course, compare it to the flat matte white. All right, done painting. I'm finally going to go ahead and seal everything. I think it's all to my liking. So I'm gonna go in with this clear matte sealant. This is gonna just protect it from fading and getting too dirty in a way that we can't wipe it off and all of that. So I'm gonna seal it all and we should be good to go. <laughs> Ooh, this is how everything is looking. I really like that matte finisher. Let me turn this off so you guys can hear me better. Really like that matte finisher, you guys. It really takes away that raw look of something that's freshly been painted. So, almost gives it a little bit of a glimmer even though it still maintains, you know, the matteness. I really like it. It's just a nice finisher so it doesn't look so raw. And it almost makes it look more clay-like without all that extra foolishness. Okay, okay, I'm not too mad at it. All right, so, so the painting turned out nice. The finisher, everything finished very, very nicely. Um, I love the paint job. Now let's see how this stuff looks on the shelves. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you guys um, tomorrow what it looks like on the shelves. And tomorrow is gonna come just like. All right, here we are the next day. I wanted to show you guys the vibes in here. So all of the items that I painted are all up on the display case. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of what things are looking like so far. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about this. <laughs> in detail okay so let's start over here with this one y'all i really love the way this looks all right just generally um I'll, I'll say that this is acceptable i can deal with this i actually really like it um let me show you guys a close-up of the heads i went ahead and put that texture on there so they look really really good out of everything i painted the heads are probably um you know probably turned out the best um such a nice finish on here with the fake stone little speckled stuff and I used the same product when I was painting outside my um, planters and stuff so yeah really really good here's a closer look at one of the jugs this is the bigger one 
so good you guys it really does look like a clay pot and I finished it with that clear matte um, like coating and it really really did a good job like I would not have wanted to do this project without some kind of coating and the fact that it's matte is like so good so I don't know you guys kind of a little bit of an upgrade I definitely don't want to throw any of these away I'm definitely gonna be keeping these but you guys let me know if you think I should add something more to it but low-key kind of like the minimalistic look of it let's move over to the other side I got my Homo erectus and T-Rex um, fake fossils down here. I think I'm just going to keep those there. I like them kind of facing each other, even though they did not coexist. <laughs> and then here's the smaller jug doing its thing right here. So good, you guys. So, so good. And then this was that other vase. Kind of looks exactly the same as before, but um, definitely more white. And then there's that second head. really good y'all so I don't know I don't know I probably like it a little bit so yeah I feel like with these display cases because there's so much detail in the wood grain and they're so big and I don't know if you guys can tell but these are like seven feet tall I feel like you really don't want to put a lot of like busy colorful stuff on these because then you take away from like the beauty and the wood grain and all the detail of the actual display cases so I kind of like the idea of really just coming real minimalistic with it making everything be like kind of monotone going with like a real neutral kind of color palette so I really like that for what I have going on in here I wasn't expecting to like it y'all I really thought I was gonna hate it um but it turned out pretty good so yeah let me know what you guys think because your opinion matters um type a comment below let me know what would you have done would you've gone with more of an off-white for the white clay look would you've added a little bit of texture to any of them let me know how you guys would have done it if you're not a neutral palette type of person and you absolutely live for color and you don't understand how people can't use color this is really not not the conversation for you because I know you're gonna hate it <laughs> but for those who are into like kind of the more toned down kind of colorways um, for the home definitely chime in and let me know how you would have added some dimension to these pots and jugs so yeah Anne is home now she's having a snack in the kitchen um, I just picked her up and I've been really busy all morning you know, trying to shoot content. I got some new campaigns coming up with some very, very highly sought after brands for me. Brands I've been wanting to work with for a very long time and I'm very, very grateful to have landed these deals. But yeah, super busy day shooting hundreds of photos. So that's why I have on all this makeup and stuff. Um, all right, let's say hi to Annie Boo. And you got crackers in your hair. You got crackers in your hair, mommy. What the? She must have tried to put the bowl on her head. Girl, you got crackers in your hair. What is the deal? Okay, we got him out. Girl, Ann doesn't even like me to, to get lint out of her hair. Like, I just cannot even, she doesn't want anyone touching her head whatsoever. But anywho, um, she's having some crackers and an apple, and we were having some cucumber water, and I'm eating some something very strange. Like, I, I would normally not serve cabbage with uh, salmon, but that's all that was in the fridge, along with some of the quinoa that I made last night. So, I just threw it all on the plate. Um, the stomach does not know the difference, so I'm gonna eat all of this for lunch. So yeah, Sansa went on a barking spree today. She would not stop. The entire time I was shooting my content, Sansa was barking the whole way through. I love cabbage. <laughs> okay, I almost forgot to um, show y'all what I ended up doing with the Mommy and Me whale set. So I just brought it up here to Anne's room and I'm probably going to paint them with her. I decided I really didn't even like these on the shelf at all. You guys probably noticed they didn't make the cut. So. Um, it's got a nice white uh, finish on it, so I'm thinking, you know, I can just paint this in a fun way and I can just use them as like little bookends. Uh, maybe not because it's not really heavy enough. I can at least just display them in her room here on her dresser. And yeah, I'm just waiting on Anthony to get home so we can go and visit his grandma because today is decorating day. I'm trying to think if I should take y'all with me. I don't know. I'll see. Um, anyway, I skipped the gym today. I decided I didn't want to sweat my hair and... I didn't want to sacrifice 30 whole minutes. I just, is that bad? I should probably make up for it and work out tonight, which I probably will. But yeah, I didn't want to be like, cause sometimes it takes me a while to come down off of my exercise high. I'll be sweating for like the next hour and a half and all that. And I really wanted to get these photos and stuff done today. So I did not work out today, but yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make up for it tomorrow. Anyway.
be having to lock our closet now because Ann be helping herself to my jewelry because she was, she's really into jewelry and it'd be everywhere. Like my whole jewelry cabinet will be like all over the floor. And I've been trying to find like some toy jewelry for her so she can play dress up with it and all of that. Now, who was I talking to the other day about this? I was talking to somebody the other day about this, but that's like the one thing I can't find in stores right now is like play jewelry. Like what happened? Everything in the toy aisle is electronic. Lights up, talks, dances, you know, everything is electronic. I'm just looking for some dress up stuff. Like I feel like when we were little, that's all that was in the toy store, play food, you know, dress up clothes, Barbie stuff, the fake version of like household stuff because if you don't give the kids something of their own to play with, they're gonna play with your stuff. And I really am trying to get her out of my closet and keep her out of there, but I have to give her her own version of it and I can't find it. So I'm gonna have to look online to see what's really good. But if you guys have any recommendations, please help me because it's very like disheartening not to be able to find like these kind of old fashioned, tried and true, you know, types of toys like, let me find out the kids are not interested in dress up anymore. That cannot be the case. All right, y'all. Anthony's home. It's much later. Uh, I washed all my makeup off because we're about to go over Anthony's grandma's house and decorate. And I already know I'm going to be tired when I get back here. I'm going to just want to go straight to sleep. So fresh face. <laughs> all right. So Dottie's got Ann all ready with her boots and her jacket. How was work, baby? Tiring. Tiring. Yeah. Made it through. Made it through. Let's see another day. See another day. So here's the pile of stuff we're bringing. It's just a bin and a little bin and this arbitrary Christmas tree in the pot. And what's really good? What's really good, mommy? Are you upset, mommy? Come on, let's get up. Come on, daddy made you upset. Daddy. 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 We still gotta stop by Menards real quick because I gotta get some uh, command hooks. Command hooks are like the official supplies for the Christmas season because really, you really can't do any decorating without them. I mean, what are y'all doing? Hammer nails into the wall? You gotta have those command hooks. So we need to stop by Menards really quick to get some more because um, I'm just gonna assume Granny doesn't have any and I kinda need a couple more for this house as well. So we're gonna stop by Menards really quick and then we're gonna head into Chi-Town. <laughs> Let me turn my um, fireplace off. It's been on all day. I've been really, really enjoying the vibes, y'all. My feet were cold, my feet are always cold. And I was sitting down here with my feet up on this thing, getting nice and toasty. It was perfect. Look at my little pile of presents. I put them right here instead of on the table in the living room. It felt like a better fit. Felt like a better fit. All right, I'll leave that open so it can continue to cool off while we're moving around. But yeah, y'all, had a really good day so far. Ann is over here just having a conniption. That's what my grandma used to call it when we would act like that. She would say we were having a conniption, <laughs> conniption fit. Okay, come on, Ann, let's get in the car, mommy. Come on, Ann Burger. Stop by Walmart and grab a few things. So, come on in the house. We gotta oil that door or something because that mug is making a lot of noise. Do not like that. Oh, before I show y'all what I got from Walmart, let me just say uh, I had a really good time hanging with Granny tonight. She loved her Christmas decorations. I didn't want to vlog too much and all that. Y'all know how I am sometimes about that kind of stuff. I'd be wanting to give people their privacy. 
Yeah, I be wanting to give people their pri privacy and stuff. You know, people be just chilling in the house. They don't really want to be on camera and stuff. But um, we had a good time with Granny. She really loved her um, decorations. She was so happy. You know, she had just about everything she needed. I just brought a few extra things, but she had everything already. She just needed a little help putting it together. So we were able to do that for her. Uh, it was my absolute pleasure to do so. I love Granny like she was my Granny. So yeah, Anne had a great time spending time with her. So it was really, really good. But Anthony is very tired, y'all, because you know, like I told y'all, he'd be up at like 3 a.m. So he's about to go to bed. I'm gonna throw Anne in the bathtub really quick. It's not super late, but it's Anne's bedtime. But anywho, I stopped in Walmart because I wanted to get some command hooks uh, for Granny's house and then, you know, the ones for here. So I got those. Picked up some more uh, Tostitos. We wanna make some more nachos. We got a big tub of um, the salsa con queso this time. It'd be so good, y'all. And then I got some more whipped topping for my little coffee, little holiday coffee treats. And then I got another sweet potato pie by Patty LaBelle. Y'all, I love these. And then we got some ground bison so we can put it like on top of the nachos. Bison is a good alternative to ground beef because it's way less saturated fat. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then Get the bath water ready for the gremlin. Take off your shoes. Mm -mm. Need mommy's help? She she usually can get the left one off, but she has trouble getting the right one off. You can you get your sock off? Yay, give it to mommy. Yay, thank you, Ann. Thank you, Ann. Where are you going? You pulling mommy? Where are we going? You want water? You Let me get you some water, sweet girl. Back here, mommy. Socks all over the place. Ann, come on, let's go upstairs. Look at her sitting on the bench. She's so cute. She's so cute. Come on, Annie Burger. Oh, okay. You want me to cut that out of the blog? Okay. A little of Ann's nighttime routine. Come on, mommy. She wants to play with these toys, but it's time to get ready. These are the pajamas that Anne is gonna wear to bed tonight. This little multicultural Santa. It's so funny, y'all. Listen, Mumu's friend, Breezy, made these pajamas by hand for Anne. She made these, okay? This is not, nothing store-bought, y'all. Girl, how talented are you? You can tell by the stitching here. Y'all, so sweet of her. And these look so mad comfy. I can't wait to put these on. So thank you so much, Breezy. We are so excited about her new pajamas. They look so comfy and cozy. So she's gonna be wearing these tonight. It's so nice. Thank you so much, Breezy. Look how cute. Anne, are you ready to get in the bed? Ready to get in the bed? Come on, let's get in. She's so tired. Look at you with your comfy PJs. Okay. Custom comfy PJs. You ready? Come on, let's lay down. You got Silly Bird? Silly Bird? You go night night with Silly, silly Bird? It's okay. It's okay. All right, you guys, it's been quite the day. It's time to retire. So tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and take me a nice quick little shower. 
and then I'm getting in the bed to go to sleep right behind Ann. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>